Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this inverter install video as easy as possible, but we're running out of daylight here. I don't know, it's like four, five already, so um, I don't know if I'm gonna get to it all today, and it's supposed to rain too, so it's, that's gonna suck because it's going to be pretty much push me back and I gotta work here outside. I got no real choice, this is my only option. So uh, pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the install. I'm gonna show you how to wire it as best I could, as clear as I could for you guys. Uh, to show you how these inverters work and how to get it to work properly so i've gone with the go power 2000 i pretty much anything i buy i always go with the go power 2000 i even have the 2000 uh in my attitude trailer over there go power i'm just a big go power fan um i know a lot of you guys oh victron i tried victron i'm not really a fan of the victron it's um i'm not, I'm not gonna say complicated but it's not uh it's not really simple this is just so easy so simple everything is in one with this inverter so it just makes life easier for installation. I mean, even for everything, like this converter, because this has one built in, you don't even need this one. So with this one, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep it unplugged right over there. And that's it. You know, you can use this. It's got the screen. It's got everything ready to go for you. All right, first things first is pretty much make sure the power's off. So we've killed all the power, disconnected everything. Batteries are disconnected. Confirm, take a voltmeter, confirm you got no power. Uh, because it's, it's gonna hurt a little bit if that thing uh, bites you so confirm that and then you can start your install my problem is this damn thing is so heavy uh, and I'm gonna mount it right up here so hopefully I can carry this with one hand try to record this for you guys and bolt this in oh like I said guys we're gonna lose daylight over here <laughs> so I'm getting ahead of myself here um, I don't want to skip out so if you guys are doing this what I would suggest is you get, this is some 30 amp uh, cable, spare cable that I got laying around in the garage. So I've taken it and I've cut it into two. Here's one end, there's another end. I've measured where I wanna go. So first step, A, C, N. You guys see this? So let me, I don't know if you guys can see that. Up the light, you guys see that? Ground. You get your power and your neutrals. So AC in. In is this, that means this side. The in side is going to go into here because everything comes in on this side and out on this side. Okay? So uh, first step is I put this on. Let me make sure these are nice and tight. Okay, these are all nice and tight. Now I'm going to take this end right here. And I've added some butt connectors. I gotta add a, another one on the black one real quick. Um, I would also recommend you guys get some of these. These are three quarter right here. If you don't have these, you need them because you'll see here, you don't want the wire sitting on these edges. Uh, you want it pretty much like this, squeezing onto there. See, same thing, squeezing onto there. So I would highly uh, get it, get some of these. So I'm gonna put this other end on real quick and I will show you when this is done and complete. So now, oh, oh. So now that we've got the nut in, I'm gonna come up, got the nut <laughs> I'm gonna come up right here and I'm gonna go into here where the end is and hook everything up to here. So I kinda need two hands for this one. So now that it's ran through the black, you see he's gonna go on this side. Now I'm gonna put the black one up here up top the white is going to go see where all the white is up top right there and the green the ground right here is going to go right there so i'm going to do that right now and i'll show you what that looks like okay so the in part is done see in we come in going into where shore power or generator comes in so black boom Black goes to black, everything's black. White goes to the white. And then I grounded it right there. You guys can see that. Right that ground right there. So that part is done. See, we got the connector there, so it's nice and tight. It's not gonna get loose. Obviously this I'm gonna, you know, put up out of the way and stuff, but I'm just setting this up for you guys right now. So now we're gonna move on to the out part. This one is now in, you see there. Got your grounds same thing just like that now i'm gonna run it 
up to here. I'll show you that now. I already measured and got everything pre-cut. I'll show you what that little slit's for. And again, guys, I'm not an electrician, so don't say, well, you know, let's not call it, yada, yada. I didn't even do any of this. The only thing I've installed on this thing is this. That's it. We have taken the white wire, went up top. See that right there? The black. There's two pieces of metal. So remember, you got to power both sides. So made a little, this is one, one wire, made a slit and fed the whole wire. So this end, fed it through, it came out until it got to here, tighten that, boom, went to here, tighten that one. We're going to put this ground. That's pretty much it, boys. Then we're going to put the batteries, put everything back together and uh, we'll do a test and see, uh, see how it works. Getting a little late now, as you can see here, a little dark. Uh, I'm going to just set all this stuff in here and uh, I'm going to call it a night and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Good morning, guys. We're back. So uh, looks like everything is working. I've kicked everything on. Now, I would say the only downfall of this, that big seven gallon does not fit in here anymore. No so I had to downgrade, go to a five gallon. Uh, but I got another one spare saw so put in there and I'm, you know, you can put these in the truck. I don't think we'd blow through 10 gallons in one weekend because I've never done that before. As of right now, I plugged everything in. I have did my setup and we are unplugged. You can see here, here's the main right there. So there's nothing plugged in. We're currently running off inverter and batteries and I'll show you. So these fluorescent lights used to never work without it being plugged in. TV, you see there, TV's on. Uh, what else we have? the ice maker is on so that's why the way I wired it I like the way I wired it because every single outlet has got power now you got to be mindful though because you can't like say you want to hook a microwave and then you want to hook up a toaster and you want to hook up this and then that and then this and you can't hook all these things up uh, you will you know uh, blow a, a breaker you know you, you so you got to kind of be aware that's why some people they will only pick specific things uh, to be powered I like everything to be powered so if I say want to come over here or, or come on you know the outlet right here the outlet over here is powered because that's what's powering the TV also that one is powered so we now currently have everything live in this trailer we don't have to worry about any issues if we have an issue we can start the generator or uh, we can hook up to an external generator but see here's the voltage 12 9 12 8 12 9 um, it's been on for a couple hours I've had everything on so far so good we're gonna get rid of this display and we're going to mount probably mount this one uh, up there again you don't really need this you can just put your setup and then disconnect it. Uh, you know, for me, I can, you know, these batteries right here, they have Bluetooth, like I said in my last video, so I can monitor these. So for me, it's really not that important to monitor them. Um, also, an advantage of powering the entire thing where uh, you can now say, something does happen, I don't know, you're low on propane, you can switch the fridge over to electric, run it on the batteries for, you know, however long you would like, uh, and then, you know, if you want to switch over to an external or propane, you just have the option, basically. That's, that's, which is awesome, uh, because everything now, even outside right here. So we got a plug, boom, that thing is live now. Uh, you know, we're, everything is live. We are good to go. So we have no issues now. TV, you can keep on all night. You know, these don't really hardly use any power. Uh, I am. Oh, I did order, it's called a power watchdog. That will be able to tell me exactly the amps and the watts of what I am currently using in the trailer. Uh, so I can monitor that. And what that's pretty much gonna do, all it does is plug right into here. And then um, it will plug into a generator or whatever you would like. And it's nice because it also has a surge protector. Now, I do also, let me show you guys this. I also got one of these bad boys. I'm gonna do a video on this for you. Um, I haven't done it yet just because, well, here in California, we've had nothing but rain and from freezing weather. But what this thing is, is pretty much turns your 
like air conditionings up top over there pretty much turns it into a soft start so it helps kick on your air conditioning where say like if i hooked up a honda 2000 to that trailer i cannot run one of my acs where when you plug this in and you hook up a honda 2000 it can because this pretty much makes it like a soft start so you can you can see this but i'll do a separate video on this for you guys i'm going to test it but this one i'm actually going to do is uh, i can actually put it here you know so i can use the watchdog or save it but i can put it in here because this is also a like a watchdog you can monitor everything uh soft start you know it's um it's it's a very very smart system and it's a very awesome system and this thing also you know has protection so if it picks something uh crazy or, or it's seeing something that's not right um you know it's got surge protectors everything on it so you kind of got the best of everything you know best of all worlds with this active start so uh, i'm gonna plug this in actually and then i'm letting the batteries drain a little bit so i like to let them drain a little and then i will plug back into the house and then monitor everything i'll plug this in and we'll see what is charging at what everything is doing uh currently and also what's nice about this is you can so if you're wondering what your lights take or what everything takes when you plug this in you go to the app and it will show you your amps uh, your watts, everything, what you're pulling with this thing. So this is pretty cool. But as of right now, guys, everything's working good. We are, uh, everything's plugged back in. Everything is put back together. You can see there. Other than that, that's it. If you guys have any questions, I'll try to help you install your inverter, you know, online. I don't know. It's going to be really hard. You're going through email. Um, I'll try to help you guys. There's just, there's so many different ways to install an inverter. Um, you know, some people... They don't even want to go this route. They don't even deal with it. And what they do, I I don't like it this way. This is like a redneck way to me. But is they will literally just plug. The, they will take their cord like from here, right here, and they will literally plug it into the inverter. Uh, but you have to turn your converter off so it's not charging. It, it's just it's not a not a way that I would ever want to do it. Um, for you guys that have it like that, uh, yeah, it's easier. It, it'll work, you know. I just rather you know keep the cords in keep it clean and organized that's just me so but let me know guys let me know what you think comment down below i'm curious to know your thoughts on inverters and setup and all that again i'm not an electrician so if you see something wrong you know this is not my business but that's all i got for you guys so thank you guys for watching this video if you like it hit that thumbs up button don't click subscribe peace